Hey there, I'm Melissa Hall. This is my 06 Scion XB. She is my baby. I have done quite a bit of work to her. She has the 18 inch wheels. She has a brand new front end on her, thanks to a deer. It is lowered and she's lowered on the same suspension, which I think it's a 1.75. Not very much, it's just enough so the 18's tucked where they need to be. What is there to say about this car that Mr. Regular didn't already say? It's weird to me that I remember that episode of RCR so well considering these cars are not my style. I'll stick to the customizations here as much as possible. This 2006 Scion XB belongs to Melissa, who is a member of the Automotive Addiction Car Club in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The first generation XB is based on the Toyota BB sold in Japan, and it featured Toyota's 1.5 liter 1NZFE 4-cylinder. The 1NZ is much more suited to the Japanese market, producing only 108 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque. That's fine for the horrendous traffic of Tokyo, but it can be a little weak for the open roads of America. It is helped some by weighing only 2,400 pounds, but the XB would have benefited greatly from another 20 horsepower or so. She does about 28 miles to the gallon and does it reliably. I can say in the three years I've owned it, all I've had to do is charge the AC and change a belt. That's it. So I have no problems unless you need me to pass you because she has absolutely no horsepower. Technically, the XB is a hatchback but I don't think anyone was cross-shopping it with a Volkswagen Golf. I'd like to think it was closer to the Honda Element, but it was significantly smaller than the Element. It honestly seems like it was just an option package on the Toyota Yaris. That being said, I would take an XB over a Yaris any day. Sure, the styling is polarizing, to say the least, but it stands out from a crowd, especially now since all new cars are shaped like beans. They're different. They're very different. They have plenty of room on the inside, because I have children. And honestly, it's a step away from the soccer mom. I didn't want a regular SUV. I wanted something small and efficient, and it seems to work. I want to stay away from everything you know, that I see at the mall. She stands out no matter where I go. Now on to some specifics. This XB has aftermarket wheels, color changing underglow, and a custom sound system. I know what you're thinking. Underglow? Really? And I get that. Is it my style? No, it's not. I do respect it though because Melissa enjoys it on her car and that's what should matter. You don't have to trash someone's car just because it's not your style. Or if you just can't stop, you can say it to yourself. There's a good chance the owner doesn't care what you have to say anyway. I'll admit that's an area I've been working on because I'm a really opinionated person. If you get in the mindset that you can respect other styles of cars, you will eventually do that. That will help lead to a more open mind about other things in life too. I truly believe that car enthusiasts can help make the world a better place this way. When I was 21, I wanted to buy a car from a dealership, and I didn't have enough money for the car I fell in love with. So the man told me that I could start work, and I could pay my car off that way. And somehow, between driving a new car every day, I fell in love with them. Because it's not about the priciest car out there. It's about what you enjoy. A car is supposed to be more of an extension of your personality. And this one fits my personality. If nothing else I've really drove has. But this one, I don't mind customizing it to make it look and feel like me. She's actually fun to work on. She goes everywhere I go. I don't care if I'm going to a car show or I'm going on a long drive, I want my car. My car is my comfort zone. The XB is a great option for a first car as it has a lot more character than something like a Corolla, and it is just as reliable. 
The same goes for someone looking for a family car that doesn't get lost in a sea of egg-shaped humanity transporters. Granted, this is a box-shaped version of relatively the same thing, but they look surprisingly good in the right color. I think this dark blue with white wheels is a good combo. Many XBs are white, which for some reason just doesn't look quite right. The second generation XB fit the American market much more than did the first, being a foot longer and about 650 pounds heavier. It also came with a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder making 158 horsepower, which is 50 more than the first gen in case you forgot what it made. Of course, Scion is no longer around, which I discussed in brief in my review of the TC. I'll end with that. Thanks for watching.